Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Wednesday, October 5th, 2016. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Holy League will be hosting a men's conference this December. Tuesday, church militant spoke with a man hosting the conference. Faithful Catholic James Thurman told church militant, quote, men need to understand that they need to step up and be the holy husbands, fathers, sons, and grandsons that they're called to be for God. The Holy League is endorsed by former prefect of the Apostolic Signatura, Cardinal Raymond Burke, and is sponsoring the 54-day Rosary Novena for our nation. Pro-lifers turned out in force over the weekend to participate in the nationwide life chain. Each year, thousands in the United States and Canada gather on the streets on the first Sunday in October to witness to life. Churchmilton.com was on the scene, with around 50 pro-lifers standing for the unborn in Woodhaven in Metro Detroit over the weekend. Pro-lifers stood up holding signs that said, abortion hurts women and adoption, the loving option, among others. Several demonstrators commented that the pro-life movement must talk more about the evils of contraception if we expect an end to abortion. Cardinal Robert Serra is telling Catholics they can only truly understand God in silence. In his latest book, titled The Strength of Silence, the head of the Vatican's Congregation for Divine Worship says, God's first language is silence. He condemns the superficiality, selfishness, and worldly spirit that are spread by our media-driven society and says our most urgent priority is to move away from the noise and make God the center of our lives. The Cardinal went on to encourage more sacred silence during Holy Mass so the faithful can more intimately commune with God. Poland's Prime Minister is backtracking from a total abortion ban. In comments Tuesday, Beata Szydło said, I want to say it very loudly and clearly. The government of law and justice was not working and is not working on any law that would change the currently binding regulations. She's referring to a total abortion ban recently approved in the lower house of parliament and backed by the Catholic Church. The contentious abortion debate was sparked in Poland earlier this year after a baby born after a botched abortion was left to scream in agony for more than 20 minutes before he died. A new law in Massachusetts prohibits discrimination of transgenders. Under this new law that was signed in Saturday, transgenders will be able to enter into Catholic churches throughout the state and use the bathroom of their choice. The Massachusetts Family Institute will attempt to repeal this law and have already gathered more than 30,000 signatures. A representative for the Massachusetts Family Institute said, quote, even having a sign in your church that says, this bathroom is for biological women only, could subject the pastor of the church to up to 30 days in jail. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about no consequences. And check out the download. The panel analyzes the vice presidential debate. Please share headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.